And welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Warped. I have no idea if he's going. Oh, the camera just snapped. Never mind. All right, let's just get started <laughs> with World of Three. Difficulty's gonna kick up just a notch. Hopefully, nothing too bad. Up. Oh, all right, I remember this one. I'm not going to be. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals, I swear it! Okay, unlock a new path by earning the yellow gem elsewhere. So I don't recall if the yellow gym has boxes or not. I don't think it does. But the yellow gym path definitely has. I forgot we got the double. Has oh, a clear gym. I don't know why I was struggling with that. That looks like a lot like Crash. I felt it was more pronounced than the originals, to be honest. It, it is here, like, kind of looks goofy. Well, Crash is goofy looking. You know what? Never mind. It's correct. Wait. What is that shot, please? Oh, never mind. Stuff's happening, and I'm just kind of all over the place. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> I tried to do a slide jump for really no reason. Okay, that's the yellow gym's gonna be at. Alright. Here we have that animal buddy, quote unquote. That crash can ride on. Uh doesn't do anything too special, it just has a higher jump than crash. It can also break uh crates, boxes, whatever. It's not slowed down by the grass. Do not touch the nitro though. That's bad for him. Jump over him. Yep. It's kinda creepy, if I'm being honest. Like what purpose do you have to just lay in the mud like that? If this is even mud. Is this mud or tar? It's a good question. And he can't come through here because the lack of tars. Just not cutting it. Love doing that. Here is the crystal. Okay, yeah, there's the thing up there. There's a nitro. Uh, yeah, let's go here. One day, I'm just gonna fall off goofing around like that. It's gonna be hilarious, too. Oh, that's interesting. I actually didn't notice that before, but I guess you can't play flop out of a double jump. Unless you bounce off a box? That's some weird inconsistency right there. Uh. Close enough. Oh, I just got all three. Nice. Hundreds of crates. I think I can get them all. Please break that. Yes. So they have these curves that speed you up. I don't think they're really necessary. Oops. Oh, I guess I can't get all the boxes yet. So I have to go to the yellow gym and then go through. All right. Because there is a secret in that level. And I remember it all too well. 
I don't know why I remember that one specifically. I guess because it's just kind of like, really? Why is it that way it is? But here we can get the first color gem, which is the red gem. And then we can use that in, oh, I'm trying to remember which level. I think it's the first a prehistoric level where we can use that in. So once we do get that gem, we're actually going to backtrack and go ahead and take care of that. Which is really how I'm going to handle backtracking. If I get a gym that opens something up for me immediately, then I'll go ahead and take care of it. So that makes some parts a little longer than others, but not too terribly bad because I can just, you know, cut past all the things we've seen. If necessary. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Hmm. I don't know how. Hmm. I seem to recall in the original, if you hug the rotating platform with the electrical wiring, uh, sometimes you could shift your hitbox enough to where uh, it would actually go through. Well, Crash's hitbox would go through. And you would get hit that way, so I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to be careful here, I don't want to lose the mess. Uh, also, the mines kind of home in on you, in a sense. Granted, they're restricted because of the chains that they're on, but that's just something you have to be mindful of. So they don't get too close because they are constantly gravitating towards Crash's location. Oh, there's two! Did. Did you. Break? Okay. It looked like the mask actually. It hit the shark. I'm pretty sure that didn't happen, but if it did, busted. Uh! Now you know how it feels. Okay, gotta be kind of careful. I don't know if the intended way is to uh, swim faster through that, but just uh, spin. So we need to make that box visible. To... Yeah, I can't see. Take that. Ugh. Being careful because I don't want to find out if Crash can shift his hitbox enough to hit that. Alright. Hmm. Come on. There we go. Huh. That wouldn't have hit. Okay, since this is big enough, to... <laughs> kind of need this. So, as yes, for this uh, box, I don't trust dashing. Okay. Ugh. Oh no, my fruit! I don't remember how to dash on Minos. Okay, that's not bad. I can work with this. All right, so I hit the box, the steel box. So now let's backtrack. I almost <laughs> spun right into that. That was pretty good timing. I, not gonna lie, didn't. I wasn't going for that, but it worked. Okay, so this caused this to become a TNT box. When you're underwater, all you have to do is touch the TNT and it'll uh, cause it to start its countdown. You don't have to bounce off of it like you normally would because, well, it's underwater, so you have to make that change. I can't, I can't actually see those puffer fish because of the scenery, but whatever. This, 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 jeez. Yeah, this is a part I'm not really a fan of. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I 
saw another shark, yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's actually sucking you in. And... Fear Gym. And Red Gym. Haha! Not bad. Got hit it a couple times, but... Didn't die. That's all that matters. Well, really all that matters is the Red Gym. Honestly, trying to remember where the red gem is used. I want to say it's in the first warp room. Where the uh, first warp room? Yes, I can English when I feel like it. Let me go back and check the levels real quick. Yep, it's Boneyard. So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? No. Nope. Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. You don't do anything until I reach you. <laughs> so, okay, so I was correct. And I actually got all of the boxes in this level. So I could just go about my business without having to worry about them. Matter of fact, I will cut to where we get to the platform, so see you there. There we go. I think it's just like a hard, very hard path or whatever. And this introduces... Well, I'm not entirely sure if this was the game introduced them. But now we have still great checkpoints. Okay, <laughs> I guess finding your first steel box checkpoint is a trophy. Cool. But yeah, this is uh, essentially a very hard, hard uh, chase sequence. And my triple jump. Be Ooh. Yeah, this one's gonna be a bit tricky. Only working at the egg box of your jump. It's gonna throw me off a little bit. Because no matter how many times I play this game, ugh, shoot, I'm never gonna get used to that. I hope uh, in the next game, if they bring the double jump back, which I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but it's changed to where you can still jump even when you're descending. This, this, okay. I jumped for no reason. Oh, I should have got hit, but huh? Kind of delayed himself for some reason. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know you could spin those guys away. Oh. Right into the bit. But that's good to know. So I don't accidentally get taken away. Oh, there it goes. The up now. But, uh, well, is that the functioning the way it's supposed to? Is this just how it was in the original, where you could only activate the double jump at the apex of your jump, or basically while ascending? But I don't like it. Ugh. Oh, okay, that was that close. This is Jim, and we're done. That better have been your pocket, my guy. Just saying. Alright, uh, I'm actually checking messages on Discord. Okay. Now let's head back to this warp room and 
Wait, the lower we are. Is that two levels we did? Yes. Purple gym. High time. Is this the introduction to a death route? Thank you <laughs> for confirming my suspicion. Cool. So. Oh. So now we have these gypsies, question mark, throwing models out of that, I don't know. This place is weird. I do like this nighttime aesthetic though. A little more than the daytime. Okay. So the thing about the death route is you have to reach the death route with, well, dying. But things that people tend to forget is as long as you haven't hit a checkpoint, if you do die, you don't have to exit the stage. It's only if you die after hitting a checkpoint where you can get penalized for it. So now, uh, if I do die, then yes, I will have to start over. Be careful not to get hit, although I think the death box is actually right around the corner. Okay, <laughs> it's being finicky right there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. I'm gonna let him come to me. There we go. If I could spin and move on those parts at the same time, that'd be a different story. But I can't. That is not the death route, but we gotta go there anyway. So when you take the bonus route things, if you die here, then it doesn't actually count against the death route because really it only counts if you lose a life. You don't lose lives in this bonuses. That's not what I was <laughs> expecting to happen, but okay. Yeah, I don't trust getting those over bottomless pits, so if I can destroy them without having to bounce on them, then I will. I was not a fan of that in the original game. Damn sure I ain't a fan of it here. Okay. I thought I overshot that jump, honestly. Yes, uh, I would like a mask. Thank you very much. Actually, there is a mask right there, actually. Thank you. Oh, wait, the death drop's actually right behind that small wall. So, as long as I don't fall in the pit. There we go. death route. Generally challenging path for you to take, but I want to say there's... So here's the thing. If there's no boxes on here, then I could just grab the gym and die and then get back on the regular path, because if you get all the way to the end of this, I believe you'll just exit the level. Yeah, I'm not seeing any boxes so far. So this is probably... This is where I can just die. There's the gym. Yep. So... Yeet! Gonna start sliding from now on because it gets rid of the monkeys a lot easier. So, yeah, we have the gem still. Press triangle by to bring up your uh, inventory. But because there were no boxes, crates, or whatever on the gym path, we could just fall down the pit 
and continue on the regular path in order to finish the level proper to get the crystal and the other gem. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just wait that out. I see you over there throwing your scimitars. You jerk. You just wasted them. He has infinite pocket space from the looks of it though. Look at him. I mean, just grab them out of this pocket. That's crazy. But you know, these aren't Cortex minions. Just taking on the aesthetic of whatever the world they're in. So you might have a device that lets them do these crazy things. When I think about the Egyptian flamethrowers, make way more sense now. Hmm. That that carpet is technology, like the Babylon rogues from Sonic the Hedgehog. Because you know I gotta make a Sonic this for no reason. Uh, let's yes, yeah, just get ready to get right that. We almost done. Okay, yeah, we're done. I uh, just gotta get to the end. <laughs> he was not grabbing it, but whatever. Here's the end. All right. So there's the crystal. Clear gem, and then the purple chip. Where can the purple gem be used at, actually? Oh, I don't. Oh, the the other. It was in the last world. Let me see, is it level seven? No, that's different. Not hang them high. Not G Wiz. Which one is it? Uh, we're playing it. Yes, Tomb Time. Oh, this one is. Hmm. Okay, I think I know how to approach this one. Crash, Coco. If you have already retrieved a Levels Crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates Time Trial Mode. Grab it, and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time, but beware, some elements will change. Okay, and that's to let players know that, hey, the relics do have some significance. But this is also the first game to introduce relics, so that's why they had it to begin with. So yeah, now we can get the boss gem. And... Another gem on... Where's the other gem? Oh, you know what? I think it's on the, the path for the purple gem unlocks. This is also a case where the path takes you to pass a few boxes. Okay, so I actually cut this out the first time I visited because then later on in the level I realized, oh wait, I can't even get the box gym yet. So I'm showing this up now. I'm trying really hard to remember how they handle me. Oh, Crash was able to break all three, but I came here, here as Coco earlier, but she wasn't able to break all of them for some reason. I wonder if they have different size hitboxes then. Hmm. Interesting. Damn. 
That is really slow moving. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Look like he. Well, it sounded like he blinked, but it looked like off screen for some reason. I don't know how. Say that's a bit of a tight squeeze. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go backwards. Well, the mask basically got rid of any and all challenge. <laughs> so, uh, let me. Yeah. Hmm. All right, got that gem. That is the platform. I'm not gonna risk that. And then there's the end. Yeah, this is... I'm gonna have to... Hey, buddy. I'm gonna take my time. Oh my god! Ooh, he keeps a bit of his momentum, too. That's interesting. There we go. Come on. Come on. I can't see. Come on. Okay. I'm going to get a checkpoint. I really hope they don't have levels like this in the next game where you have to go backwards in a crash game. It's just not the best thing to do. Oh, there goes my triple jump. Not, not triple jump, double jump, just not. I pressed it way too late. That's the problem. Mm, let's see. Oh, and if you destroy a crate that originally have a life, then die, then it will or two just to create with the womp fruit. Keep that in mind. Where's that platform? Okay. I think I could do like a slide jump too. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So I think that is the intended way to just use a double jump. Yes. Thankfully that trap doesn't close when you're going backwards. Oh wait, I think this is the last of the coins. Yep. Cool. So now I just have to make my way forward. I'm gonna use this just to be safe. I'm waiting. <laughs> Alright, alright. I had to fake this now. It's gonna make the platform come out the wall, but I think it also retracts after just a little bit of time has passed. So just to be safe. Yeah, okay. It's a little tense, but nothing will ever be as bad as Cold Heart Crash, in my opinion. And honestly, Cold Heart Crash. Oh, it wasn't that bad in the remake, but definitely worse in the original. I don't know, there was something about the remake that just made it seem, I guess, more tolerable and to a degree fun. Because I hated that. 
the original. Okay, come on. Home free. I almost jinxed it. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah. I just wanted to do that uh, spin dash trick. To, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we've done three levels already. Let's see. Yep. And then road crash. Oh, another motorcycle level. And then after road crash is double header. Oh, double header! I have a story <laughs> to talk about with that level. So as with the previous level, there's a box gem and crystal. I'm just gonna focus on the box gem first. That's bird. <laughs> So far, so good. I probably jinxed it, but you know, it's fine. As we established, I'm not allowed to have nice things in the long run. Oh my god! Wow! The disrespect. <laughs> the actual disrespect. I was honestly on track to actually get the box gym and crystal, but I don't think I'm going to get it now. I, I, I pressed X, thinking I would, like, hop. Oh! Oh, you can't turn around. That's... Hmm. Well. Alright. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, well. Uh... We'll just try again. Okay, that's the one I missed the first time. Oh, that's a hole! Like that. I was about to drive over that so confidently. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. That's X. Well, it doesn't matter. I was gonna redo it anyway. We're good. There's the gem. But we're not done. We need to do that level two more. Oh, you, you can't skip it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, we need to now get first. Alright, that took way more shots than I would like to admit. But we got it done. But I'm not done with this level quite yet. So you'll probably notice that bird that flew into a sign. Yeah, we're gonna be checking out the sign. Well, you've crashed a few parties before, but I never expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back, I will fit the thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe.
Oh, you, you know, yeah. That freaking song. <laughs> I was so zoned out right there <laughs> because of all the tries I took to get this. Just to get first place. I don't know what was happening, but my luck was terrible trying to get first place. But yeah, see this bird? Yep. That's basically a sign to hit this sign. Yeah. And this takes you to Hot Cocoa. Oh, we're doing this now. Maybe I should wait. <laughs> I regret everything. Alright. Oh my gosh, this level. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a sandbox level in which you can get the crates in any order. But you'll want to, I guess, plan your attack in a sense. Because there are checkpoint crates here as well, and you can get them at any time, but you wouldn't be kind of sparingly with them. They just kind of like to do that, where they just put bombs there for no reason. Alright, um... Let me get the nitro kind of thing. I have a shark here too. Because why not? Y you know what? I'm just gonna go this way. Ugh. Time to just tap, 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 tap. tap. Shout out to people that can do this really fluidly. I'm not one of those people. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get a checkpoint. Right over here. Cause I got in a decent amount of boxes. 17 out of 70. You know, not a lot. But considering this part... <laughs> Alright. And that puts my total to 40 out of 70, so we're more than halfway there. And I wanna say there's another crate somewhere. Like a fourth? No, it's just floating in a very odd manner. Fourth. Oh! Not gonna lie, I did not see him. I think I had to get the. Yes, I had to do this again. Alright, let's try to be a little more careful. <laughs> more careful. Yes, I can do that when I feel like it. You, you know, it's, it's fine. I think this is where I... Yeah, there's the shark. Hmm. I missed. What? <laughs> okay. That's fair. But I circled around the entire island, so... Let me start... Looking for things I missed, like this. What the... Okay, hey. Uh. Mm. I want to say there's some underwater as well. In order to get those, you have to hit a jump. You, you know what? I'm going to get this checkpoint. Yeah, you kind of have to dive into the water off of a ramp. That was a slow, but I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Come on. Let's 
I'm almost there. Oh boy. <laughs> Shoot. Uh hmm. Oh, that's a uh, that's how you do it. Okay, right. You can't actually boost. So what you have to do is, uh, for those that are wondering, I was actually holding up on the D-pad, and that allowed Koku to dive under the water when she hit the surface. And as I mentioned before, I want to say there's a crate or two. That you have to get in that way. Hmm. Kind of uh. I don't think there's another one over here. Yeah, we're good. Where are we at now? We need 11 more. Nope, not that, to that shark. Uh, they're on this area too. Yes, I see two more. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This is. Okay, good. After I get this, these three over here, then I'll go back the right direction I came from. Okay. Oh, you know what? I saw it, actually. I caught it in the corner of my eye. Uh, right there, here. I gotta line this up. Got it. And I know what the others are. It's the checkpoint box and the other box on the ramp that I missed by the shark. And if I die, hit the shark. Well, I'll just be right here. Yolo. Aha. Alright, now let's make our way back to the start of the level. And Jim Baby. Hot cocoa. Done until I have to, you know, go back for the <laughs> relic. But it's what it is. And number 15 is double header. I can finally tell the story! <laughs> Alright, so double header. Nah, screw it. I'll take over the. That low screen was actually not that bad. Double header. A. Eh? Nothing really too hard about it. But, uh, for one, these are two headed giants. Which is sweet chickens. Didn't look like chickens in the original. But, uh, this level in particular, although not hard, it gave me issues as a kid. Because for some reason, uh, whenever I rented this disc from Video Warehouse, shout out to a company that's probably not even there. Well, I, th I think Video Warehouse is still a thing, it's just Blockbuster isn't, even though Blockbuster is a major company and Video Warehouse isn't, but whatever. Uh, I guess there was a particular scratch on the disc that I always got, and for some reason, the game would just stop in the middle of this level. Hold on a second. So sometimes. It would let me go all the way through, other times it would just be stuck for a solid 5 minutes and like after 5 minutes I would just give up. So sometimes uh, when I, I wouldn't even get through the entire game just because 
I don't know, that particular scratch on the disc made it to where it had a hard time processing this level or something? It's a very odd thing to happen, and I guess other people have mentioned this before, that they've had issues where I guess certain areas on the disc, if scratch prevents levels from loading properly or whatever. The first time I played this level, I thought that was, I guess, a gimmick? But no, it was an error with the disc itself. So seeing this play without any issues is... I've never seen that type of animation. <laughs> but seeing this level play without it uh, just stopping every 10-15 seconds is quite refreshing. Pretty cool level, actually. You know what? No, friends. You're not gonna become human. How did they get a two headed giant minion? Well, it's science, whatever. Mm -mm. It's actually the last medieval theme style level. I guess you could say it's the hardest, but by hardest I mean it's just the longest. Hmm. Let's I think I did that right. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Oh! <laughs> oh, I didn't think the explosion would catch me, but I, I, I'm starting to think Crash has an extended hurt box. A hit box, right? matter when he does the belly flop. I feel like that wouldn't have happened with Coco. Okay, cool. Uh, noted. So did we just see me double jump? Oh. Please don't. Oh, you. Yep. All right, let's not belly flop. So close. <laughs> Slightly to the right. Haha. -ha. Really. Bounce nowhere, but you know what? It's fine. Huh, why did that, that not happen in the other stack? Whatever, we're done. Haha. -ha. Eh. Interesting that they put a group of steel grates there. I don't know why, but whatever. I think that was in the original as well. What? What? Huh? Looks like the shot curve. I I don't know. That looked weird. Uh, I'll see it on playback. Final obstacle. Oh. <laughs> My luck today is it's been great. If I do say so myself.
jumping too early. But no matter. Got the gym. Give me crystal. This session has been going on for over an hour <laughs> because of how many times I've been screwing up. Oh well. I figured it was bound to happen because this is me playing the game without really practicing. And to my credit, I'm actually doing pretty decent, but then the motorcycle will happen. Ah, you little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. No, you. This time, you've done it. Dr. Entropy. Now you're on my time, you little skunk! Right. Give me the Maybe if I did the uh what should we call it? Slide jump? I don't know. That perception is a bit tricky. I'm have I'm actually having a hard time telling if I can make a jump or not. I don't know if that's just me or if that's a problem that others have had with the game as well. Thank you. I appreciate the different pattern for the blocks. Hopefully. Got him. My time is up, but your soon will be too. Death tornado spin to spin longer and faster, or to glide while in the air. Press square button repeatedly. That's going to be helpful. You insignificant morons! By defeating Entropy, you have placed us all in grave danger! <laughs> Crash, Coco, you must realize that this time twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it will do? Yeah, it will do nothing. And Crash actually spawned in before his warp animation. That looks weird. But that that's just text. Of just, I don't know. Fire cut? I don't know what you would call it, but nothing really happens. Maybe that was reflected in the levels more than it might mean something, but nothing really changes. But yeah, uh, next time we'll start with Warp Room. Bow. Thank you for watching, I'll see you then. Take care y'all.